Brad, thanks for having me, man. I'm Whoa. excited to talk to you, and we're going to talk a little sonar, am I right? That's right, sonar. So uh, what we're going to learn about is uh, Garmin, of course, just came out with uh, the new perspective, which is some technology. And so you've had a chance to look at it, right, on the water? I have had the chance to yeah. mess around with it. So we're actually getting in the boat. We're going to find out some more, but we're going to take a we're going to take a second because it's we're in Kansas, and uh, I just saw Toto like go yeah. across. And, and here um, comes a tornado. <laughs> yeah. So uh, <laughs> so we're going to take this time when it's not windy to uh, tell us a little bit about. Uh, uh, perspective what people are going to see okay and then uh, the second part of the question is um, uh, what units is uh, are you going to be able to use perspective with okay sounds all good. right uh, the neat thing uh, about being a crappy fisherman in this day and age is the sonar and the sonar on all three major brands is phenomenal Am I right? But yes. I'm luckily enough to be on the Garmin Pro Staff, and I've been on the Garmin Pro Staff for seven years because Garmin is a Kansas City company, and that's where I'm from, and I've had some connections with my radio job that I got on their Pro Staff, uh, probably just out of annoyance because I'm just a simple guide, you know what I mean? But I catch a lot of crappie, I post a lot of videos on Crappie Kirby YouTube, so... Garmin came to me about eight years ago and said, hey, you, you should try a Garmin head unit. And I'm like, uh, okay, cool. At the time, I think I was running Hummingbirds, and I had a pretty nice Hummingbird. And I actually even had the Hummingbird 360, which at the time, you know, seven or eight years ago, was the end-all, be-all. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. It was like, I mean, I take this hobby of mine very serious. I just started a pretty successful guide service, so my boat was totally rigged. So when Garmin made the phone call... I gotta be honest, I was a little apprehensive to switch over. I'm glad that I did because after two years of being on the Garmin Pro Staff, they came out with Panoptics, okay? And then about two years after Panoptics came out, they came out with the Panoptics Live Scope, which is the end all be all right now, which everybody knows about. Everybody's seen the videos. It's literally taken any form of fishing and made it a video game. Uh, so I'm so glad that I did that. Now, the only downfall to live scope, if any, is sometimes the mounting bracket can be a little troublesome to people when they're trying to focus in on playing that video game fishing. Some people will mount that trolling motor uh, bracket with the live scope. Some people put it on some uh, like a cornfield crappie mount, yep, or yep, some people will fabricate a PVC mount for under 25 bucks that just works phenomenal to steer that live scope in whatever direction that they want to look at. And what it does is it sends a, a cone out, and I believe it's a 20 degree wide cone, so the further away you get, the wider the spectrum of view is, um, but it's still 20 degrees is pretty tiny, you know what yes, I mean? So you can see is. basically wherever the transducer is pointing. Now, it also has another option on the transducer that you can turn it downward, which basically looks directly underneath you basically 180 degrees. Now that's an right. excellent uh, usage when you're ice fishing or whether or not you're s stacked up on top of a, a crappie bed that you know exists and you know that there's fish down. You can see your jig go down. You know that you're fishing at the proper depth. So you've got two options, right? Well, and, uh, and should say that the 20 degree cone is like your typical cone that you have, like a transom mounted transducer Absolutely. that, that multiple electronic companies use so so that it shows that it's a very small when you start looking at compared to 180. It is but with live scope forward view you can see I believe up to 150 feet in front of you which is I you know so. a long way yes. and it brings the detail in better when it's closer so when you're my personal setting I like to keep it at about 12 to 15 feet. I can see my jig, I can see the structure in front of me, I can see where the crappie are in the water column, so I know that I'm going to catch fish. You know what I mean? So 15 feet is perfect for me. Now, what I have trouble with is I've mounted mine to the new Garmin Force trolling motor, which we could do a whole other interview about that, because that is a stellar piece of equipment. Right, and it's actually got a notch out of it so that it can, it contains 
and it manages your cable management actually for LiveScope since LiveScope is a Garmin product. But what I have for trouble with is since I have it mounted to the trolling motor and when I have it on spot lock, my spot lock is, is constantly adjusting right. for the wind to keep me on. But here's the thing. I like that. I don't like, I can't imagine having it on a, 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 fixed. a, on a fixed thing where I have to turn it. That's one extra thing that I have to do when I'm trying to cast, reel, jig, pull up, whatever. I don't want to have to look down. So if I mount it on my trolling motor, and I always do it downwind of where the actual uh, where the actual brush pile is that I'm fishing, the wind adjusts it so it's always looking to the left and right. All right, and if I'm 15 feet out, it's a pretty wide column. All right, so I'm very successful with it scanning around because if I it's if it's adjusting for the wind and it looks over here, I can see oh the school is moved over there now for whatever reason where I wouldn't be turning that. Right. by hand. So it actually turns and looks for me. And after, you know, fishing behind it for a little while, you get the nuances of it and you yep. understand where your jig is into conjunction of where your trolling motor is pointing. I highly recommend doing it that way. It's more okay. secure, it's safer, uh, and as long as you're cautious with those cables when pulling the trolling motor up or down, you're going to be fine and you're going to catch more fish because it's doing the hard work for you, where right. you'd have to put your pole down and adjust it, and then try to adjust your trolling motor. Seems like too much work to me. But, I got a call from my Bass Pro Shop manager. Uh, he manages the pro staff for Bass Pro. His name's Gary Robinson. And he said, Kirby, he's from South Africa, have you seen the new Garmin Perspective? And I'm like, uh, it's a horrible imitation. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, no, that no, was sorry. awesome. That was a, it sounded like a drunk Irishman. But anyway, so <laughs> I'm like, no, what's that? And this just came out Monday, Brad. Yes. Yeah, just Monday. came out Monday. And, and he's like, have you updated your software? I'm like, well, I have the Garmin Active Captain app. So anytime that my phone is on within the area right. of my trolling motor, it says you need to update the software. So I had updated the software on Wednesday when I was fishing because it does it automatically. It's a one-button right. push. Garmin has the best sonar units for connectability for their app, for their watches, uh, for their pumps and their boats. You can, it, it's just absolutely amazing. For their action cameras, you can actually edit and delete and start and stop recording your action Garmin verb cameras. Hey, you're making my Sony. You're hurting my uh, Sony's no, no, feelings. No, no. That, that's an, I'm looking at a nice $7,000 <laughs> camera right now. I, I know you're okay. Your feelings aren't that hurt. But, so, when, you up, when I had updated the uh, software, it had already put perspective on my wow, live scope. Wow, that's so cool. Like, I that's don't great. know. I said I updated it on Thursday. Oh, then you have it. You have it. So I'm like, what? So I went out, I had my boat in the driveway, put my head units on, and sure enough, I've got forward view, live view, and perspective view. I'm like, oh, wow, I got it. And there was already a couple promo videos out that Garmin had done. Yep. But what Garmin did not do is give you the mounting bracket because this mounting bracket that Garmin is peddling uh, for the live scope gives you a three-notch system where one, the transducer is looking forward, yep. two, it's look actually it goes one, it's looking down, two, it's looking forward, and three, it's looking perspective. And if, it, if you, any of you have ever seen any of the videos from the Hummingbird 360, it's exactly like that clearer and in live time because if you know the, the so, hummingbird 360 had to actually it, cycle around. yeah it's actually sonar it yeah, has yeah, to go it, all it, the way it had to go all the way around like you're searching for a submarine yeah. and by the time you saw where the fish was by the next time it cycled around it had already moved four or five feet in whatever direction you don't know so it wasn't in live time it was a great product but now garmin has nailed it now it's not 360 it's 180 yep. looking whichever direction your trolling motor is. So if your trolling motor is looking in front of you, you got 180 there, all you got to do is position your trolling motor behind you, and then you've got 360. So yep. Garmin Perspective, if you haven't checked out the promo videos, it's phenomenal. It is designed for shallow water fishing. 
bass fishermen are going to go nuts with this. Crappie yeah. fishermen during the spawn are going to lose their minds right. to go into their favorite area, whether it's a lake, a pond, a river channel. When those crappie go on spawns, they're going to know exactly where to cast and they're going to be able to see their lure in live time so you're going to know when the bites come. Yeah, and the, the thing that I saw in the press release, because I get the press releases, is uh, they did mention that uh, I thought they said 50 foot is what is what the perspective going out yeah, I got it. to the distance is what, whether yeah. it was a recommendation or that's what it was. That's what they had listed on that, but but Man, I saw it. it. It's pretty. It's pretty impressive. Another, you know, it's another. It's another big step for Sonar to put the two together, Absolutely. and you're starting to get it. You but drop your in the end, it still me. takes what's underneath your hat. That's true. To get it, so if you don't have what's under the hat, the brain, yeah. the fisherman's brain, to put it together, and you don't do that, then you can see all the fish you want. That's true. But if you don't, if you don't manipulate the lure like say a crappie, to get them to come up yeah. and bite your lure. So as you were talking in your seminar, you it tease them a little bit, it didn't put and them up on it the comes. For you. Exactly. Does Good not, stuff. Does not put them, put them on the Do you happen to know Garmin's website? Yeah, Garmin.com. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you can't beat it. <laughs> can't beat it? Yeah. Join them. Join them. That's there right. You and, you know, so... I was talking to Gary, I saw that I had the perspective, and we couldn't just leave well enough alone. We had right. to see it that day. We tried to put out one of the very first videos of the Garmin, you know, perspective right. view. And there's already, you know, five dozen, 30, 300, who knows how many YouTube videos have been made already on fabricated brackets that people right. have made. So, of course, we go, we fabricate a bracket in the afternoon, and by like 4 o'clock we're on the water, and we're like giggling schoolgirls. It was just insane. Um, I live about five minutes from Lake Olathe and they have a several uh, Georgia Cube fish habitats right. uh, that they've thrown in in shallow waters for people to fish along the bank. So of course we go set up on those. We can see how many pallets it took to make those Georgia Cubes. You can count them cool. out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see what and drive in live in time. time. Yeah, could live see what time. Fish were on there. We didn't even make a cast because we could see they were bluegill. They were, or they were right. either bluegill or tiny, tiny crappie. All right. And then we saw, uh, we saw channel cats swimming by in live right. time. And it was just, just happened to go inside our view, and it was all 180. You know, within 50 feet. And keep in mind when you take the feet back. So let's say you're, you're 30 feet from the bank. The detail and the clarity is going to be better. So right, it's exactly. just like on forward range when you're using live scope. If you dial it back from say 60 feet to about 15, you're going to get that clarity. You're going to get that pop. You're going to be able to see that jig head. Same way with the perspective view. You draw it back closer, and you're going to see what's around your boat within 180 degrees, anywhere from 50, 30, 40, or 50, 40, 30. You get down to 20. The detail is amazing. There you have it from Crappy Kirby. All right. Uh, I knew I could say it right. Anyway, you have it from him. Hey, we're going to shoot a video out on the water, so we're going to show you some more stuff. So all kinds of good stuff happening here. Make sure you check them out. And if you are in Kansas, you yes. definitely need to go fishing with him because he's got a guide service. That's Tell right. him your website real quick. It's crappiekirby.com, and I fish all around the Kansas City, Southeast Kansas, Missouri, Oklahoma, Arkansas area. Just And I kind of got a good network of friends through my website, my social media, and, and you know, happy customers. They let me know where the crappie are biting. And, there and, you and, go. And that's where we go. Guaranteed to catch fish. There you go. There you have it from the man himself, <laughs> Mr. Kirby. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate it. Got it.